would like to uh, welcome you to this uh, presentation, this uh, webinar uh, from SESTA, where I will present you uh, the Danish National Archives new uh, web service, data web service, where you, where you can find uh, data from administrative uh, and research uh, data purposes. Um, I would like to uh, start by saying that we are recording uh, this presentation, uh, but we will stop the recording uh, when I have uh, presented then, and then afterwards you can answer. Uh, you can ask any questions uh, you like, and I will uh, answer them as uh, as well as I, as I can. Um, you can uh, write your questions in the Q and A uh, if you like, or you can just uh, ask them uh, verbally at the end. But I will not answer que questions uh, under my pre uh, during my presentation; only at the end. Uh, then I should remember, remember remember to say that there is a, you will receive a, an evaluation scheme uh, afterwards uh, that we would like you to fill out so we can uh, see how we can do better, better next time. Uh, but back to the presentation. Um, the web service uh, digidata.resecu.dk is uh, something uh, the National Archives made uh, and uh, released this summer. And I will show you it uh, after a short presentation of uh, what uh, the National Archives is and, and what uh, SESTA is. And then I'll uh, go to, to the, uh, the presentation of the web service and how you can use it. But first, a few words about SESTA. If you don't know what SESTA is, it is the consortium of European Social Science uh, Data Archives. And uh, what uh, we do in, in SESTA is uh, that we uh, provide the large-scale integrated and sustainable data services to social sciences. And we try to promote uh, the results of social science research, and we support uh, national and international research and cooperation. Um, and I have uh, Take some extracts from SESTA's vision that applies to especially this subject that I'll present today, because we find at SESTA that it's that access to social science data and metadata data is vital both for science but also for society in general. Therefore, we offer services to data producers to easily describe and store their data. And we try to make these uh, data as fair as possible. We use the fair principle uh, principles, that is, that data should be findable, accessible, interoperable, and reusable. And then we provide, uh, in SESTA, we provide training uh, like this and uh, try to enable uh, sharing of knowledge on data. And if you, you want to know more about SESTA, you can visit uh, that website our website that is uh, sesta.eu and then shortly about the danish national archives the dna is um, uh, the national archive uh, of denmark for all state authorities and institutions um, and for all regions, we have five of those, and the regions uh, primarily work with uh, healthcare. So uh, the data they um, submit to us, us is healthcare data, which can be uh, quite uh, useful in a research um, um, for for research purposes. Um, then we have. Uh, we are archives for approximately half of the municipalities in Denmark. Um, and then we have uh, research data as well, uh, both uh, publicly funded research uh, from universities. Uh, they 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 uh, have to submit their data to uh, the National Archive. Uh, and then there are also uh, private uh, donors of data, including researchers that are not publicly funded, but they can uh, donate their data to us uh, voluntarily. And what we do is uh, described in the Archives Act. So it's uh, we uh, we at the National Archives we of course preserve historical uh, uh, data of uh, historical value, um, and 
and we uh, make these um, uh, data, these uh, public records, these uh, registers, these uh, research data, we make them accessible to uh, citizens and authorities, including for uh, research purposes. And then we 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 help uh, we guide the users uh, so they can use uh, these data and these records in a in a proper manner. And then we we do some research ourselves uh, using these data, and uh, we of course disseminate the, the results of the those research. Um, because we are national archives, we have uh, da data way back, and uh, so uh, a lot of our of the data in our collection is uh, uh, origins from uh, paper. Uh, it's very old and some of it we have di digitized, but not all. Uh, but the newer the newer data we get is what we call a digi digital born. It has always been digital. And uh, and uh, this that is uh, that part of our, our it's that part of our collection that uh, that this uh, solu solution uh, is about because we have uh, fine fine solutions for our paper uh, archives, but uh, but the the data uh, part has been lacking a bit. So that's why we have made this new web service that is called digidata.wizikid.dk. So what is it? How can you use it? And why did we make it? We made it because, as I said, we needed one place where the users could uh, find uh, all digital uh, born data in our collection and uh, those data can be uh, split up in two major groups we have uh, the research data uh, data collected by, by researchers for research purposes uh, and that's primarily so, uh, social science surveys we have and we have approximately uh, three, three and a half thousand uh, data units of that kind, data sets, you can say. Uh, we also have a large collection of uh, data from public admi administration or administrative data. That's public records, that's uh, registers and so on. And there we have over 6,000 uh, data units, data sets of that type. And uh, a lot of that uh, data can be can be used uh, for uh, research purposes uh, because they uh, describe the Danish population and the Danish society uh, in the from the latter part of the 20th century and until now. Um, many of those uh, data that is. Um, presented in uh, digidata.risakir.dk uh, uh, can be downloaded directly. And many of the documents uh, that uh, is uh, provided with the data can as well. For the rest, and that's obviously, obviously in the most of them, uh, you can you have to uh, re request access uh, to, to get access to them. And uh, that can be done uh, relatively easy. Uh, well, the, the request part is uh, relatively easy. It might not be that easy to, to actually get access, but that, that's another matter. And that's uh, my uh, initial remarks. Now I'll go to the actual web service and show you how it is used. I'll try again. There you have it. This is the front page of, of our uh, new web service. And it's, as you can see, quite simple. There aren't much to it. Um, we have just a big search bar and we have some advanced search uh, possibilities here. Um, I will say a couple of uh, things in, uh, in the beginning, uh, a few uh, caveats. Uh, uh, the first one may be the most important in this, uh, in, in this, uh, for this audience is that, uh, re re yeah, um, I, I re regret to say that the solution is in Danish. Um, and the data you can find on this page page is mostly uh, also in Danish um, because it's uh, yeah Danish uh, providers that have uh, 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 
given us uh, the data. Um, so that's, of course, an issue for non-Danish speaking uh, users and researchers, but um, that's uh, that's how it is. Uh, so um, you will have to do some uh, some uh, uh, translation yourself before and after you uh, you start your search and try to find data uh, at at this uh, so at at the, the national archives using this uh, web service. Uh, the other thing I would say is that uh, the the site is still under construction. Uh, the paint is not completely dry yet, uh, so to speak. Uh, and there are still some uh, minor issues we are uh, on our way to, to solving. And then the other thing is uh, not all of our data is uh, available here yet, but that's a matter of a few weeks, then, then it'll be here, all of it. But um, yeah, but the issue about uh, Danish or not, that, that won't go away. Uh, uh, anytime soon, I'm I'm afraid because uh, there aren't, aren't any uh, plans of making an in English ver version of this uh, because yeah priorities and the main reason being that the data is in Danish anyway, so so there aren't much uh, won by making a, an English version of this page. But that said, I'll uh, show you uh, how to use it. As I said, there is a, a big uh, search bar here where you can just uh, type in the words you are looking for. Uh, or you can, in advance, make some advanced search options. Here you can choose whether or not you only want to see uh, or search for administrative data or, or you only want to search for research data or both uh, if you would like to see it all. Then there's, of course, uh, which years you are interested in. Uh, you can uh, set the, the years in from to and from here. And then if you know who made the data you are looking for, uh, which, uh, which authority or which researcher who made the data, you can uh, write the name here. But let's just make a, a simple search. And uh, in Denmark, we have just had uh, our general election, so that would be uh, an issue many people is interested in. So I can just show you that it's not impossible to write, uh, to search in English, but the result is not as good as it could be, I think, because uh, let's just try. In some cases, for some for some uh, data, there is uh, English metadata, but it's not for uh, for all our data. So you can see, I, I typed in election, and I got fifty six uh, results, fifty six hits. You can see up here. If I instead write Folketingsvalg, if I can do it right. If I write Folketingswell, which means general election in Danish, you get 548 hits. And that's just showing shows that uh, if you uh, want to get, get the best results, you have to write it in Danish, uh, unfortunately. But if you do, uh, you get these 400 and almost 50 uh, hits. And that's um, maybe too many hits. Uh, so therefore you can use this filter in the left uh, margin to uh, to filter it down to a, a manage manageable uh, amount. You can again uh, choose only to see the administrative data. There are only five. Or the for, uh, research data, there are 543. Uh, but you can also just have both and then uh, do some, something about the, the year uh, period you are looking at. So let's see, say you just want to have a look at the newer data uh, from 10 to 19, then it gets more manageable. You only have uh, 24 um, hits. Three of them are administrative data and 21 of them are research data. So, and of course you can also, uh, if you again know who made the data you're looking for, 
you can use this bar down here and search for a, a researcher or a institution or a, a authority or something like that to uh, filter it down more. But 24 is okay, so I'll just have a look at those. What you see here uh, in the middle is the search results. And I'll just go through all the different uh, elements of it so you know what it means. Here you have the data unit number. This is an, a unique number for this uh, this uh, uh, this uh, data uh, material, uh, 19310. Uh, and that's good to know because uh, if you you ever have to contact us, that, that's a good uh, number to, to reference to us. Then we have a title of this uh, material. That's something about the election and uh, and also for the European Parliament, I can see uh, those data about that. And it's from 2008 to 12. So that's within the margin uh, in the filter. So that's, that's fine. Then here we have what data type this is. And this is a register. That's a, a data provided by, uh, by uh, yeah, uh, a public administration. In this case, you can see here, it's the uh, Statistics Denmark, Denmark Statistik in Danish. They have provided the, this data and it is a register. And you can see a, a short description of this uh, material, what it, is it about. And then in the bottom, there is a, a green uh, box that shows in what tables uh, the search word uh, well, where, where does it uh, where can you find it in the material and that's nice to know and I'll show you why in a moment so that's uh, information the same information for all the hits down down here and you can see here that you have some uh, research data, forskning data for Dansk in Danish. Um, so this is a research data and this is a registers uh, or administrative data. Um, and then there is the, this symbol. And that, that symbol means that this particular data can be downloaded freely. And that's nice to know for students, uh, for example, who just need some uh, fast uh, data that is easy to get access to, then then you should look for that symbol. And we are on our way to making making a filter out over here where you can uh, do so. You just get results where you can download the data, but that's uh, not here yet. But it will be here hopefully soon. So look look out for the download uh, symbol. Well, let's take a look at the first uh, data material here. And when you click on click on it, you get this this page. And some of the, of the information here you have already seen, uh, but some you haven't. Uh, you have seen the number, the title, the data type, uh, who provided the data, Denmark statistic. If you click on this, uh, you get a new uh, search result showing all the data that uh, Statistics Denmark, in this case, have provided to uh, the National Archives. Uh, so that's a new search you do there. You have the purpose from uh, before. And then here you have a, a more uh, in-depth uh, description of the data what it uh, the content of the data uh, primarily it's about uh, how and when the data is being uh, was uh, collected uh, so so more technical than the purpose uh, description in the left uh, column in the left margin margin you have uh, sometimes not always uh, some other suggestions of uh, data you could look at because the this particular data set is the part of a series series of uh, data uh, where in this case there we have uh, information about elections so this is from 2000 south 2008 to 12 uh, but you can see here that there is also a data from 12 to 16 and you can freely uh, shuffle between those uh, out here so if you click on that you can see it now it's the another data set actually you're looking at uh, another uh, 
year, uh, another period of time. But let's go back to the other one. Uh, sometimes there are more than two out here. There can be up to, yeah, uh, a lot, uh, 20 or 30 or something. Well, one for each year, maybe the last uh, 30 year, years. But, um, but right now, there are only two in this case. There can also be uh, some notes out here about this series, and, and uh, that can provide information about uh, where did these data, where have they been collected before this series and so on. So, um, so that can be quite helpful if you need to find out uh, data from before 2008, for example, where did that come from. In this case, there are none, uh, no uh, notes, but often there, there will be some out here. So read them as well. But back to the main uh, main uh, place of the, the, the site here. Um, the next you see is uh, a list of the tables in this uh, particular data material. And uh, especially for administrative data, there can be a lot of uh, tables in one um, data material. In this case, there are 16 and they can, they they often have uh, uh, funny names, uh, names you don't uh, exactly always know how to interpret. Uh, so uh, that can be a bit tough, but that's how we we have received these metadata, and we do not uh, change the names of the metadata of the tables we get from from the uh, authorities. Um, but uh, we have other ways to help you understand what it means. I'll share with you you that, you that in a moment. Uh, and then we have the documentation a list of all the documents that was uh, provided uh, together with the data when we received it. And in this case, there are 12 documents uh, and those you will get access to if you uh, uh, seek access to the data, then you will get uh, these uh, documents as well. Uh, but in some cases, these documents are freely available. And if they are there, you can just uh, click on them and you can read them as uh, PDFs. Um, and I'll show you an example of that uh, a bit later. But in this case, these uh, documents are not yet uh, freely available. So you just get a, a listing of uh, what kind of documents you can find in this material. And lastly, uh, we have uh, four uh, small points. Uh, the first is uh, some, some uh, topic. Uh, some top topics uh, for this uh, data material. So you, here's one, uh, there can be more, of course. And you have uh, what uh, time period uh, this, these data is, uh, is describing from eight to until uh, 12. And we have some ID uh, information as well. Uh, in, in some of our data, we have uh, <clears throat> We have uh, ID information about persons, about uh, about uh, muni municipalities, about uh, where you live, uh, and uh, and so on. And uh, if if there are these kinds of data, you can uh, you can find them described here. So that it will say these data provide has a has the content of uh, personal number and, and so on. But in this case, there are none. Um, so, uh, and lastly, we have uh, a DOI, uh, a persistent identifier, <clears throat> which uh, you should use if, if you use these data in, for example, for an article or so, uh, it's 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 good to uh, to use this uh, DOI for for citation and so uh, so on. So so uh, this uh, this DOI is uh, unique for this material. Um, yeah. Well, let's take a closer look at the tables. As you can see, two of uh, the tables uh, are. Are marked uh, green here, and that's because, as I showed on the first page, that <clears throat> those two tables uh, has the word uh, "Folketingswell" well in them somewhere. So that helps you uh, narrow down which tables you are is you should be looking at. So um, let's take a look at those. And the first thing you'll notice is that when you uh, mouse over the, the table names, you get a, a more in-depth uh, description of that table. So that helps a bit 
um, to uh, to get a hold of what what the table, what the content of the table is, and that uh, that is true for all tables in in this uh, in in all our our data. Uh, so you can always uh, get some uh, indication of what the table, <clears throat> what the content of the tables are. But let's try uh, uh, this this one. Uh, have a look at that. Now we are looking at uh, this particular table that is called FTVal uh, underscore 2011. <clears throat> And uh, on the in the left margin here, you can see all the other tables in this uh, data material, and you can freely uh, jump <clears throat> back and forth between them, like that. Uh, just click on them, and then you uh, see the different tables, and you can read about them. Just a moment. I'll get a glass of water. <clears throat> but if we are looking at this one, um, the table called FTVal 2011, the first uh, thing you see is a description of that particular table. What does it? Uh, um, uh, what what is the content of of that table? Um, and under there, there you have the size of the table. Uh, how many rows are in this table? And you can see in this case, there are over 100,000 rows. That's a lot. And, and each row is, um, is an observation, uh, an observation unit. And uh, you can often read uh, in this description what the observation unit is. In this case, it's a result of, of a, a specific uh, election uh, area. So each uh, row is a result for a, a specific uh, research, uh, uh, election area. Uh, and then under here, you can see all the columns in this uh, in this grid, in this uh, table. Uh, and and it, uh, it shows, in this case, there aren't that many columns. So maybe there's eight, I think. Uh, and each of them is described, so you can see uh, what what the columns, uh, what kind of information you can find in in that column. Um, in this column, you can see uh, the uh, that uh, column uh, per, the column that is called person F V uh, twenty eleven. Uh, that uh, the content of that is the candidate's name and so on, and you can see that the last one is. Uh, this one is how many uh, votes uh, that has been given for for that observation. So, uh, and of course, it's uh, important to notice that you don't get access to the actual data in the table, of course. You only get access to the metadata of this table. You can see what the data, what the table, uh, what the content of the table is, but you can't see the content, so to speak, only the metadata. Because if you want to get access to this data, and that that might be the case because now you have read about it and you uh, think you have an idea that this is the data you're looking for, then you have to, uh, <clears throat> apply for access to it. And how do you do that? Firstly, you go back to the main page, and then you have the, the bottom button over here where you can apply for access. You just click the button, and then you get to an application page. But you just fill, fill out your the purpose of, of, uh, your, of your application and so on. And then uh, we will... Uh, um, we we will uh, uh, go through your application and see if you can get access or not. Uh, but uh, the application is quite simple. You just uh, fill it out with your pers personal inform information and purpose and so on, and then we'll take care of the rest. Of course, there's no guarantee that you will get access, but uh, you can always try. This is, be, of course, only if data is not freely available. If data is freely available, then it's much easier. Let's go back to uh, our search result. I press in here, here. 
then we have the search result from before. And let's uh, take a look at some uh, research data. And let's take a look at some of the data where there is this download icon. For example, uh, election study number uh, from uh, 2015. Let's have a look at that and see it here. And as you can see, um, the the way that the page is uh, is uh, constructed is it's uh, just like uh, the administrative data. There aren't no uh, no difference, and that's that's the whole purpose of, of this exercise to make it as uh, as uh, similar as possible. Um, but of course, uh, this is research data, so it's a bit different uh, the data itself. You have uh, the same with um, as before with here we have a list of the tables in this case there are only one there is only one table um which is often the case with the, these research data i can give it a, a, a click and you can see it looks like the table before we have a, de a very short description but a description and we have uh, the size and uh, number of rows and it's of course uh, much lower uh, but still for research data set it's uh, it's okay uh, 4147 uh, rows or respondents in this case and then we have all the columns and in uh, this case as for all surveys this is the 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 question the the question text it's the questions being asked of the resp respondents um so uh, you can uh, you can see what have what have they been uh, asked uh something about uh where they live and who would you vote for if if there was an election tomorrow and so on classical questions of that of uh, that thought uh, sort uh, we have uh, uh, gender and uh, when you were born and so on let's go back Another thing uh, you can see here is uh, that I wasn't lying before when I said you can uh, for for some documentation you can uh, you can uh, click on it to see see what it, what the content is. Uh, in this case, we have some uh, documentation, some reports, and so on. And there is actually a one in English here so that we can click on. Uh, let's try that. Uh, and when you do that, you get. Uh, you, you download a PDF a document of that um, uh, documentation. So you can write, read a, a little bit of, about, uh, in this case, uh, the election study and see uh, if, if there are the information you needed. Um, and then you may have noticed that uh, this uh, button is different from, from before because you don't have to uh, to uh, apply for access. You can just download the data. And if you do that, you get a zip file, um, which I'll just try to open uh, and show you what content there is in in the data, in the material you download. You have uh, some metadata and you have uh, all the documents uh, that uh, comes with the data. And then you have data itself in uh, in five different uh, formats, uh, the classical statistical uh, analysis, st st yeah, statistics formats that you can use. Um, so then it's just, uh, to have at it and make your analysis and uh, yeah it's uh, by now it's uh, it's just a small percentage of uh, our collection that is uh, freely downloadable but uh, it will we will uh, keep putting more and more uh, data out so that uh, that will be uh, for download like this so more and more of our collection will be uh, easy to access um yes one last thing I'll show you is that you, if you know the number of the, and I don't know if you can see that up in the URL in the in the top, um, you can uh, if you know the number of the data you are looking for, and 
maybe you do, maybe you don't, but uh, if you do, you can just uh, type it in directly. Uh, if, for example, you're looking for a number 596, just type it in in, in the in the URL and you get uh, and you go to the, the the page to the data. And uh, of course, it's no co coincidence that I chose uh, this one. Uh, I, I chose this one for a couple of reasons. Uh, firstly, I would like to show that uh, this is a register. It's uh, administrative data and also they can also be downloaded, some of them. So I just wanted to show you that. This is about uh, uh, weather and uh, yeah, weather situation at the Danish uh, coasts. Uh, so maybe if you are re researching something like that, you can uh, that could uh, um, be uh, be useful data. And it, uh, you can see it; it's quite old, uh, from uh, from the seventies and uh, to the nineties. And uh, another thing you might may, may, might have noticed is there are not as many metadata here uh, as I showed before, and that is exactly because these data are old, uh, or more precisely, the metadata is old, and. Um, and that's of course a shame, but, but the reason is that uh, back in the days, uh, the the focus on the fair principles, if you can say that, wasn't that uh, prominent, uh, not as it is today. So our, uh, the data we received uh, many years ago is not as uh, the, the the we we weren't the that um, our focus was not to to, to get metadata on on the data uh, in in a structured way not not uh, in the same way we do today so many of our older data is not uh, described as well as as the newer data unfortunately but we do have uh, always uh, information on table level so even the old uh, data here you can see there are information on table level so even though there are no purpose description uh, you can always uh, search for uh, in this case something about uh, 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 wind and yeah, wind, wind speed and so on if it's if, if that's what you're looking for and you are uh, writing uh, wind hasty wind speed uh, as a search uh, term you will find this even though it doesn't have a, a purpose description so it's not uh, it's not impossible to find these data but it's not as easy at, as we would like it to be unfortunately but uh, you can always uh, if it's if the documentation is freely available you can of course uh, have a look at those and they are actually quite often quite uh, uh, good at describing what the data uh, the, what the content of the data is. This is uh, scanned uh, documents, uh, so uh, they can be, yeah, they, they look a bit old, but they are quite uh, useful, as you can see. Okay, uh, I think I'm about to, yeah, the prop, uh, the, the presentation is, uh, is at an end, uh, more or less. I have shown you uh, what you can do. Uh, and what you can't do uh, at our solution. And I hope uh, it has ignited a, a bit of a curiosity for, uh, for, you, for you to try yourself. And uh, I hope you would um, spread the word to your colleagues and so on about this uh, solution. And lastly, I would say, if you uh, if there's something, if you try this solution and you find that something is, seems strange or is missing or something, uh, we will, we would uh, uh, like you to contact us so we could uh, could see if it's if it's in, if it in fact is an error or 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 if we can do something about it. We have an ad address uh, up here, data uh, at uh, SADK. You can just write there, and then we'll take care of it. Of it. Um, yeah. I think uh, that was it, and uh, I would uh, say that if we stop uh, the
the recording now, then I can answer questions uh, if there are any.